The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called for immediate action Tuesday to avoid a global food emergency, saying more than 820 million people are hungry, some 144 million children under five years old are stunted, and the COVID-19 pandemic is making things worse. He said there is more than enough food to feed the world's 7.8 billion people, but our food systems are failing. The UN chief launched a policy briefing on the impact of COVID-19 on food security and nutrition on Tuesday. There is more than enough food in the world to feed our population of 7.8 billion people. But today, more than 820 million people are hungry. And some 144 million children under the age of five are stunted, more than one in five children worldwide. Our food systems are failing. And the COVID-19 pandemic is making things worse. Unless immediate action is taken, it is increasingly clear that there is an impending global food emergency that could have long-term impacts on hundreds of millions of children and adults. This year, some 49 million extra people may fall into extreme poverty due to the COVID-19 crisis. The number of people who are acutely food or nutrition insecure will rapidly expand. Every percentage point drop in global gross domestic product means an additional 0.7 million stunted children. Even in countries with abundant food, we see risks of disruptions in the food supply chain. We need to act now to avoid the worst impacts of our efforts to control the pandemic. Today, I'm launching a policy brief on the impact of COVID-19 on food security and nutrition. It has three clear findings. First, we must mobilize to save lives and livelihoods, focusing attention where the risk is more acute. That means designating food and nutrition services as essential, while implementing appropriate protections for food workers. It means preserving critical humanitarian food, livelihood and nutrition assistance to vulnerable groups. And it means positioning food in food crisis countries to reinforce and scale up social protection systems. Countries need to scale up support for food processing, transport and local food markets, and they must keep trade corridors open to ensure the continuous functioning of food systems.